Let me start with the, the most pressing news. Lebanon is facing some of the most intense attacks, by most accounts, the worst attacks in perhaps 15 years, maybe 20 years. Um, do you believe that Hezbollah will now retaliate uh, in a major way and that we are now going to see the escalation of this war into Lebanon and in, 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 in perhaps even a wider, a widening of the war? What has occurred in Lebanon now and we have heard and seen in the news is a humanitarian, is a human and humanitarian crisis and before getting into whether Hezbollah wishes to respond or not, in the eyes and viewpoints of people around the globe, a country that is being supported by and backed by the United States of America and European countries is committing crimes that in the framework of international laws and agreements has no explanation or justification. And prior to Hezbollah responding or otherwise, the United Nations and countries that pretend to be defenders of human rights, they must force Israel to sit in her own place. Uh, for Israel, a country that is armed to the teeth, uh, and the United States of America brings into the nearest uh, body of water the Mediterranean Sea aircraft carriers uh, in order to support that same country from a human point of view, humanitarian point of view, human rights point of view is unacceptable. A country that pretends uh, to support freedom and uh, freedom seeking around the world is supporting a country that is committing atrocities and killing men, women and children as a human being, regardless of what I may or may not believe in. Any human being worthy of that name witnessing such tragedies from these human beings becomes ashamed, becomes ashamed of witnessing such bitter events, Com crimes committed against people who have no power to defend themselves, only are willing to risk their lives to obtain, to obtain their lives. Now what Hezbollah will do now, what can Hezbollah do? in the face of aerial bombardments. They were forced to defend themselves, but the danger does exist that the fire of events that are taking place there will expand uh, to the entire region. And this can be dangerous for the future of the world and planet Earth itself. So we must prevent the, the ongoing uh, criminal acts being committed by Israel and this is unacceptable. Imagine uh, coming with airplanes that you have, taking out 380 people in one shot, injure hundreds of people, and there are no defenders, so-called defenders of human rights that are willing to prevent such atrocities and crimes from being committed. This is utterly unacceptable. Will you uh, counsel Hezbollah to restrain itself? Uh, we know that Iran has a lot of influence over Hezbollah. Hezbollah by herself cannot stand against a country that is armed to the teeth and has access to weapon systems that are far superior to anything else. Now, if there is a need, Islamic countries must convene uh, meeting in order to formulate a reaction to what is occurring. Now, if we're speaking of Hezbollah alone, what can Hezbollah do alone? The regional countries, Islamic countries must sit together and prior to anything more severe taking place, I do believe that international organizations, today we did have a meeting with at the United Nations with Mr. Guterres, and tomorrow we will see such discussions and topics taking place, and we must not allow for Lebanon to become another Gaza uh, at the hands of Israel. Uh, Hezbollah cannot do that alone. Hezbollah cannot stand alone against a country that is being defended and supported and supplied 
by Western countries, European countries, and the United States of America. The government of Israel would, of course, say that the reason they are retaliating against Hezbollah is Hezbollah has been raining rockets in northern Israel, has driven 60, 70,000 people out of their homes. These are men, women, and children. These are civilians. And that that Israeli response is a response to that, those Hezbollah rocket attacks. Do you believe that? In Gaza, the same Israel, how many people have they murdered? More than 41,000 people. What have they done to the Israelis for them to deserve to have their hospitals, their schools, men, women, children, old and young targeted? How many Israeli Israelis were killed in response to which they have killed so many, tens of thousands? Did the children kill anyone? Did the women murder anyone? Is someone who's hospitalized murder anyone? Today at the United Nations they were saying that 200 United Nations personnel were martyred in this, in that, on that land. So who believes really what Israel says now if Hezbollah can muster the strength to even let's assume, rain down thousands of rockets. How many people have they killed? Israel, on the other hand, they commit acts of terror. They go wherever they wish. They attack countries at will. They go wherever they wish and commit assassinations. They've done that for decades. And the greater international government committing international acts of terror is Israel. Today, through their paramilitary and other organizational personnel, UAVs, aerial bombardments, uh, they're committing these crimes every day. And on the night of the my inauguration, as the new president of the Islamic Republic of Iran, they came to our capital city and they martyred Esmail Haniyeh. Who does that? Now, these are terrorists, the ones who wish to only defend their land and their dignity and their country. You know, coming up with the appropriate and right numbers is not that big of an effort. Let's see how many have been victims of those who commit the actual terror and how many lives have been lost for defending one's dignity and territorial integrity who is it in this framework that has no value for humanity and the world sees this the world witnesses this and the powers are defending this the powers that are so-called defenders of human rights this is embarrassing you have said that iran reserves the right to respond in the time manner and place of its choosing to the assassination of ismail haniya um, are you saying that you will for sure respond in some way to that assassination? If international organizations cannot make this individual sit down and stand down, and they keep allowing someone who unfortunately has the means to commit such atrocities, then naturally we will give the appropriate response.